For decades, progress in AI has been measured by how well we've succeeded in playing the games that humans play. We've already created systems that can learn to master chess and Go, and many people view StarCraft as the next grand challenge for the AI community. A couple of months ago, we made an explicit choice to try and scale up and speed up the StarCraft project. The way we went about that was to have different versions of the agent compete against each other on something we call the Alpha Star League. This one learning to beat that one, this one learning to beat that one. And that leads them to improve rapidly over time and discover new strategies. The way it played, you could see it was getting it. StarCraft has imperfect information and is played in real time. It also requires long-term planning and the ability to choose what action to take from millions and millions of possibilities. Look at Danny, he looks nervous. <laughs> we were able to beat Danny, the best DeepMind StarCraft II player. That definitely exceeded expectations. The next step is we're going to book in a pro to play. I think there's nothing better than, you know, big external tests like that to focus the mind. <laughs> if they can already beat me, that would be incredible. I really thought TLO would you know, beat us. <laughs> no matter what happens, just well done. It's been amazing progress, really amazing. Our goal is not just to defeat these players. Our goal is to do it in the right way. How are you feeling? Good, I'm a little nervous because yeah, Unlike a human player, Alpha Star can see the whole map at once. But we spoke with TLO and created as level a playing field as is currently possible. In particular, Alpha Star can't react quicker than a human player can, nor can it execute more actions, clicks per minute, than a human player. All right, <laughs> two seconds, guys. I haven't really seen a pro play StarCraft up close. The 800 clicks per minute. I don't understand how anyone can even click 800 times, let alone if doing 800 useful clicks. <laughs> After the first match, I knew now it was on, and uh, that I actually have to work pretty hard to, to beat this thing. I didn't want to lose. Incredibly, the system held up. I was surprised at how strong the agent was. <laughs> I actually lost every single of the five matches. Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it. Yeah? Hey guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels a bit unfair all you guys against me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get to have a rematch where I get to play my strongest race. Well then I think I would beat it. Yeah, TLO is an amazing yeah. player but he plays so. Zerk and yeah. our Asians play Protoss for now. With TLO there was still that but at the end of it, you know, but yeah. he's a Zerg player and so now we've addressed that but. I guess they need a Protoss specialist, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> I'm hoping for a 5-0, not to lose any games, but I think the realistic goal would be 4-1 and one in my favor. I think he looks more confident than TLO. Oh, TLO was quite nervous better. before. The room was much more tense this time. I really didn't know what to expect. He's been playing StarCraft pretty much since he's five. I wasn't expecting the AI to be that good. Everything that we did was proper. It was calculated and it was done well. I thought I'm learning something. Yes! Yes! It's much better than I expected it to be. I would consider myself a good player, right? But I lost every single one of five games. We're way ahead of what I thought we would do, given where we were two months ago. Just trying to digest it all, actually, but it's very, very cool. I think that progress has been unprecedented. It's humbling knowing how many people are working on this project of StarCraft II, some of the top minds of the world.
These complexities are important to us because they're representative of something bigger. They're representative of, of challenges that face the whole of AI, which haven't yet been solved. I think everybody's just very excited to see what comes out of this. And hopefully that StarCraft is going to be a part of history when it comes to AI.